At this point, we've created a developer certificate, we've added our device ID, we've created an app ID, and now the last step that we need to worry about with the iPhone provisioning portal is to create a provisioning profile. So here I've logged in and I'm at the provisioning portal and now I'm going to choose provisioning. And at this point we need to create a new profile. This is where everything comes together. We give this profile a name and I'm going to call this iBrent Development and we choose the certificate we want to associate with it and then we choose the app ID and so remember the name that you gave it and so I'll choose the development apps that I gave it and then you want to select the devices. So here what we're doing is we're associating all of these elements together so that when you create an app you then can put it onto the device and run it and test it. So if you have people that are going to test the app for you, you want to make sure you get their device ID, add it to the device IDs, and then when you create your provisioning profile, you would see a list of the devices and then you would check them off so that you could then create the app and hand it off to that person. So at this point, I'm ready to go and I click Submit. Now it says pending, and of course you can always do the refresh game. And there we go. Now, what we need to do then is download, and we're going to save the iBrent development.mobile provision. Go ahead and click OK. And so now we've downloaded the mobile provisioning profile, and we will use this when creating our applications.